German Literature, Wikipedia Audio German literature comprises those literary texts written in the German language. This includes literature written in Germany, Austria, the German parts of Switzerland and Belgium, Liechtenstein, South Tyrol and Italy and to a lesser extent works of the German diaspora. German literature of the modern period is mostly in Standard German, but there are some currents of literature influenced to a greater or lesser degree by dialects. Medieval German literature is literature written in Germany, stretching from the Carolingian dynasty. Various dates have been given for the end of the German literary Middle Ages, the Reformation being the last possible cut-off point. The Old High German period is reckoned to run until about the mid-11th century. The most famous works are the Hildebrand Slied and a heroic epic known as the Heiland. Middle High German starts in the 12th century. The key works include The Ring and the poems of Oswald von Wolkenstein and Johannes von Teppel. The Baroque period was one of the most fertile times in German literature. Modern literature in German begins with the authors of the Enlightenment. The sensibility movement of the 1750s to 1770s ended with Goethe's best-selling Die Leiden der Jungenwerther. The Sturm und Drang and Weimar classicism movements were led by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe and Friedrich Schiller. German Romanticism was the dominant movement of the late 18th and early 19th centuries. Biedermeier refers to the literature, music, the visual arts and interior design in the period between the years 1815, the end of the Napoleonic Wars, and 1848, the year of the European revolutions. Under the Nazi regime, some authors went into exile and others submitted to censorship. The Nobel Prize in Literature has been awarded to German language authors 13 times, or the third most often after English and French language authors, with winners including Thomas Mann, Hermann Hesse, and Gunter Grass. Periodization Periodization is not an exact science but the following list contains movements or time periods typically used in discussing German literature. It seems worth noting that the periods of medieval German literature span two or three centuries, those of early modern German literature span one century, and those of modern German literature each span one or two decades. The closer one nears the present, the more debated the periodizations become. Medieval German literature refers to literature written in Germany, stretching from the Carolingian dynasty. Various dates have been given for the end of the German literary Middle Ages, the Reformation being the last possible cut-off point. GWF Hegel, E.T.A. Hoffmann, Friedrich Holderlin, Heinrich von Kleist, Novelis, Friedrich Schlegel, August Wilhelm Schlegel, Friedrich Schleiermacher, Ludwig Tieck, Ludwig Uhland, Arthur Schopenhauer, Joseph von Eichendorf. The Old High German period is reckoned to run until about the mid-11th century, though the boundary to early Middle High German is not clear-cut. The most famous work in OHG is the Hildebrand Slied, a short piece of Germanic alliterative heroic verse which besides the Muspelai is the sole survivor of what must have been a vast oral tradition. Another important work, in the northern dialect of Old Saxon, is a life of Christ in the style of a heroic epic known as the Heiland. Middle High German proper runs from the beginning of the 12th century, and in the second half of the 12th century, there was a sudden intensification of activity, leading to a 60-year golden age of medieval German literature referred to as the Mittelhochdeutsche Blutzeit. This was the period of the blossoming of MHG lyric poetry, 
particularly Min Sang. One of the most important of these poets was Walter von der Vogel Wide. The same sixty years saw the composition of the most important courtly romances. These are written in rhyming couplets, and again draw on French models such as Chrétien de Chirois, many of them relating Arthurian material, for example, Partival by Wolfram von Eschenbach. The third literary movement of these years was a new revamping of the heroic tradition, in which the ancient Germanic oral tradition can still be discerned, but tamed, and Christianized and adapted for the court. These high medieval heroic epics are written in rhymed strophes, not the alliterative verse of Germanic prehistory. The Middle High German period is conventionally taken to end in 1350, while the early New High German is taken to begin with the German Renaissance, after the invention of movable type in the mid 15th century. Therefore, the literature of the late 14th and the early 15th century falls, as it were, in the cracks between Middle and New High German, and can be classified as either. Works of this transitional period include The Ring, the poems of Oswald von Wolkenstein and Johannes von Teppel, the German versions of Pontus and Sidonia, and arguably the works of Hans Foles and Sebastian Brandt, among others. The Volksbuch tradition which would flourish in the 16th century also finds its origin in the second half of the 15th century. The Baroque period was one of the most fertile times in German literature. Many writers reflected the horrible experiences of the Thirty Years' War, in poetry and prose. Grimmelschausen's Adventures of the Young and Naive Simplicissimus, in the eponymous book Simplicius Simplicissimus, became the most famous novel of the Baroque period. Martin Opitz established rules for the purity of language, style, verse, and rhyme. Andreas Griffius and Daniel Caspar von Lehenstein wrote German language tragedies, or Trauerspiel, often on classical themes and frequently quite violent. Erotic, religious, and occasional poetry appeared in both German and Latin. Sibyl Ursula von Braunschweig Luneburg wrote part of a novel, Die Durchlochtige Siren Ermina which when complete would be the most famous courtly novel in German Baroque literature, it was finished by her brother Anton Ulrich and edited by Sigmund von Birken. Inner emigration, Gottfried Benn, Werner Bergengrun, Hans Blüher, Hans Heinrich Erler, Hans Fallada, Werner Fink, Gertrude Fussenegger, Ricardo Hutch, Ernst Junger, Eric Kastner, Volker Lachmann, Oskar Lowerke, Erika Mitterer, Walter von Molo, Friedrich Rechmalek Soen, Richard Riemerschmidt, Reinhold Schneider, Frank Thies, Karl von Ossietzky, Ernst Wiechert, in exile, Ernst Bloch, Bertolt Brecht, Hermann Brock, Alfred Doblin, Lion Feuchtwanger, Bruno Frank, A. M. Frey, Anig Mayner, Oscar. Maria Graf, Heinrich Eduard Jacob, Hermann Keston, Annette Kolb, Siegfried Krakauer, Emil Ludwig, Heinrich Mann, Klaus Mann, Thomas Mann, Balder Olden, Rudolf Olden, Robert Newman, Eric Maria Remark, Ludwig Wren, Alice Ruhl Gerstel, Otto Ruhl, Alice Swartz Gardos, Anna Segers, B. Traven, Bodo Usse, Franz Werfel, Arnold Zweig, Stefan Zweig. M. Fine Same Kite Slash Sensibility Friedrich Gottlieb Klopstock, Christian Furch Tegot Gellert, Sophie de la Roche. The period culminates and ends in Goethe's best selling Die Leiden der Jungenwerther. Sturm und Drang is the name of a movement in German literature and music taking place from the late 1760s through the early 1780s in which individual subjectivity and, 
in particular, extremes of emotion were given free expression in response to the confines of rationalism imposed by the Enlightenment and associated aesthetic movements. The philosopher Johann George Heyman is considered to be the ideologue of Sturm und Drang, and Johann Wolfgang von Goethe was a notable proponent of the movement, though he and Friedrich Schiller ended their period of association with it, initiating what would become Weimar classicism. Science fiction, fantasy, Andreas Eschbach, Frank Schatzing, Wolfgang Holbein, Bernhard Hennen, Walter Mowers, Pop Literature, Benjamin von Stuckradbar, Migrant Literature, Dolatamir Kaminer, Feridun Zamaglu, Rafiq Shami, Poetry, Jurgen Becker, Marcel Bayer, Theo Brewer, Rolf Dieter Brinkmann, Hans Magnus Enzensberger, Aldon Augustus, Ernst Jandl, Thomas Kling, Uwe Colby, Friedrich Mayrocker, Durs Grunbian, Kurt Marty, Karl Krillo, Aphorists, Hans Kruppa, Thriller, Ingrid Knoll, Novel, Wilhelm. Gina Zeno, Gunter Grass, Herta Muller, Siegfried Lenz, Charlotte Link, Reynald Goetz, Anna Kalry, Norbert Scheuer, Dietmar Duth, Christian Kracht. Catherine Schmidt, Burkhard Spinnen, Robert Manis, Martin Walser, Andreas Mand, Jaza Bank, Mark Degans, Jenny Erpenbeck, Klaus Modic, Literaturport, Audio Clips of Contemporary Literature, Many Read Out by the Authors Themselves, German American Literature, Paul Henri Campbell, Walter Abish. Middle Ages Weimar Classicism is a cultural and literary movement of Europe, and its central ideas were originally propounded by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe and Johann Christoph Friedrich von Schiller during the period 1786 to 1805. German Romanticism was the dominant movement of the late 18th and early 19th centuries. German Romanticism developed relatively late compared to its English counterpart, coinciding in its early years with the movement known as German Classicism or Weimar Classicism, which it opposed. In contrast to the seriousness of English Romanticism, the German variety is notable for valuing humor and wit as well as beauty. The early German Romantics tried to create a new synthesis of art, philosophy, and science, looking to the Middle Ages as a simpler, more integrated period. As time went on, however, they became increasingly aware of the tenuousness of the unity they were seeking. Later German Romanticism emphasized the tension between the everyday world and the seemingly irrational and supernatural projections of creative genius. Heinrich Heine in particular criticized the tendency of the early Romantics to look to the medieval past for a model of unity in art and society. Biedermeier refers to work in the fields of literature, music, the visual arts and interior design in the period between the years 1815, the end of the Napoleonic Wars, and 1848, the year of the European revolutions and contrasts with the Romantic era which preceded it. Typical Biedermeier poets are Annette von drost hulshoff Adalbert von Chamisso, Eduard Marik, and Wilhelm Muller the last three named having well-known musical settings by Robert Schumann, Hugo Wolf, and Franz Schubert respectively. Young Germany was a loose group of Vormertz writers which existed from about 1830 to 1850. It was essentially a youth movement. Its main proponents were Karl Gutzko, Heinrich Laub, Theodor Mundt, and Ludolf Wienbarg. Heinrich Heine, Ludwig Born, and George Buchner were also considered part of the movement. 
The wider circle included Willibald Alexis, Adolf Glassbrenner, and Gustav Kuhn. Poetic Realism, Theodore Fontaine, Gustav Freitag, Gottfried Keller, Wilhelm Rabe, Adalbert Stifter, Theodore Storm. Naturalism, Gerhard Hauptmann. Under the Nazi regime, some authors went into exile and others submitted to censorship. Old High German Middle High German Much of contemporary poetry in the German language is published in literary magazines. Das Gedicht, for instance, has featured German poetry from Germany, Austria, Switzerland and Luxembourg for the last 20 years. Cambridge History of German Literature Watanabe O'Kelly, Helen, ed. Cambridge and New York, Cambridge University Press, 1997, Konzett, Matthias Pickelruiz Encyclopedia of German Literature Routledge, 2000, The Oxford Companion to German Literature, ed. By Mary Garland and Henry Garland, 3rd edition, Oxford University Press, 1997 Early Modern Period German Renaissance and Reformation Baroque Period 18th Century The Enlightenment the Nobel Prize in Literature has been awarded to German language authors 13 times, or the third most often after English and French language authors. Bernd Lutz, Benedict Jessing, Metzler Lexikon Autoren, Deutsch Sprachige Dichter und Schriftsteller vom Mittelalter bis zur Gegenart, Stuttgart und Weimar, 4. Actualisiate und Erwettert Auflage 2010, Theo Brewer, AUS dem Hinterland. Lyric Knock 2000, Sistig slash Eiffel, Edition Yet, 2005, ISBN 3 87512 4, Theo Brewer, Kiesel and Castany, von Neuengedichten und Geschichten. Sistig slash Eiffel, Edition Yet, 2008, ISBN 3 87512 Broken, Jan Kolbrot, Um Kreis und Gen. 25 Auskunft zum Gedicht, Leipzig, Poetenladen Literaturverlag, 2010, Manfred Enzensperger, Die Holderlin Amesen, Vom Finden und Erfinden der Poesie, Cologne, Dumont, 2005, Peter von Matt, Die Verdichtige Procht. Über Dichter und Gedicht, Munich, Hanser, 1998, Joachim Sartorius, Mimima Poetica. Für ein Poetik des Zeitgenossischen Gedichts, Cologne, Kiepenheuer und Witch. 1999. 6. Van Cleve, John W., The Merchant in German Literature of the Enlightenment. Chapel Hill, 1986. German Poetry from 1750 to 1900, ed. By Robert M. Browning. Forward by Michael Hamburger, New York. Continuum, 1984, 281 pages, ISBN 0 8264 0283-6, 20th Century German Poetry, an Anthology, edited by Michael Hoffman, New York, Ferrer, Strauss and Giroux, 2008, 544 pages. ISBN 0-374-53093-9, Heinz Ludwig Arnold, Text and Critic, Lyric Day 20. Jarundertz, Verena Offermann, Hubert Winkels, Best Deutsche Erzeller, 
Hans Bender, in diesem Land leben wir. Deutsche Gedicht der Gegenart, Hans Bender, was sind das für Zeiten. Deutsche Sprachige Gedicht der Exager Jahr, Christoph Buchwald, Ulgena Wolf, Jarbuch der Lyrik 2009, Karl Otto Conradi, der Gross Conradi. Das Buch Deutscher Gedicht. Von den Anfangen bis zur Gegenart, Hugo von Hofmannsthal, Deutsche Erzeler I, Marie-Louise Kaschnitz, Deutsche Erzeler II, Boris Kerensky and Sergiu Stefanescu, called Land Beat. Neue Deutsche Zine, Axel Kutsch, Versnetzi. Deutsche Sprachige Lyrik der Gegenart, Andreas Neumeister, Marcel Harx, Poetry. Slam. Text der Pop Fraction. 7. Van Cleve, John W., The Problem of Wealth in the Literature of Luther's Germany. Camden House, 1991. Sensibility. English. German. Anthologies. Sturm und Drang. 19th century German classicism Romanticism Biedermeier and Vormertz Realism and naturalism 20th century 1900 to 1933 Nazi Germany 1945 to 1989 21st century Nobel Prize laureates Literature <laughs>